JT5 here, and these are the best movement passives that you can get without the legend passive. As we continue, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd highly appreciate it. We start breeding for Suzuku, since that is my favorite pal, but this can be applied to any pal in the game. First thing to prep are the parents for breeding. In my case, for Suzuku, it's a Cryolinks and a Blazema. For those of you wondering where to find them, Cryolinks can be found on the upper left corner of the map, and Blazemod on the upper right corner in Site Number 3 Sanctuary. On a side note, for Site Number 3, that is also where you can find most of the boss pals. The passives that we would want are Swift, Runner, and Nimble. Only those three. I haven't included the Legend passive since that would take more time, but it is worth it if you want. This is more on the process of attaining those in a single pal. I only have to find those passives on Cryolinks because he spawns more. He or she spawns more, and for Blazemut, you just have to find a male or a female. I start the breeding with any Cryolinks that has those passives. If you get lucky, you might already get all three on the first try, but that's not the case for me. I got Flame Emperor, Swift, and Runner, but no Nimble. So now it can be narrowed down to just a Suzuku that has Nimble. You can now change the parents to only Suzuku that has the passives and those that are missing. While waiting, you can also hunt Suzukus in the desiccated desert on the upper right corner of the map to find the missing passive. With multiple attempts, you won't find a lot of combinations for passes, but what I learned through experimentation is that to have a higher chance in getting to add a passive that you want, it doesn't matter if both parents have the same passives. You can just think of them as canceling each other out. What you look out for are the passives that are not the same for each one, hoping to have a higher chance of staying on one of the offsprings. You can always change the parents that has the passives that would offer a higher chance of just getting the passive that you want. I changed mine a couple of times until I got the final pair that gave me the combination that I need. There is no simple calculation for this, Though there might be others that would show you calculations and set up, it's up to you to dive into it. What I'm showing you right now is how I did it through filtering and narrowing my options to get the best possible outcome. And that's changing up the parents and not sticking just to one. And after all that, I got this Suzuki with all three movement passes and a Flame Emperor which is a bonus from Blazemite. I hope this helps, and see you on the next one.